Revolution We don't need no large control Today I want to talk about advanced placement testing, how it's probably different from your previous testing and how to prepare for it. The first big difference to remember is that you are no longer in the land of just memorization and comprehension. You are now going to be doing analyzing and interpretation throughout the test. This means that you have to apply learned information to new information. So by the end of this, you are going to be mentally exhausted. Am I saying that memorization is bad or just no longer necessary? Not at all. In fact, memorization is a great skill that you need, and it will become even more important in the future in order to sell your ideas to the audiences that you present to. Learning good techniques for memorization is essential. In fact, let me help you out. Here's a resource for learning some tricks to develop your mind for better memorization. But with AP tests, you're going to be asked to do interpretation and analysis. What does that mean? You have to take information that you learned in class and apply it to new information that you may not have seen before. But using the stuff you learned, you can figure out the context of the new information and decode it. So let's get to work. First, let's talk about studying. When I talk to most AP students, they tell me that their studying includes reading over their notes and memorizing the information the night before. Then go take the test. Okay, good start, not a good finish. Instead, see your studying as a process that will take several days. Day one is about organizing your notes by looking them over, rewriting key parts of the notes, and figuring out what you remember and what you need to do more work with. Day two is about rewriting your notes, but not word for word. Rather, put the big pieces of information in categories or in themes that are more easily remembered. Day three is about studying by talking your notes out loud do this to questions or themes, and make sure to talk out loud. For some reason, talking out loud, not just in your head, leads to more long-term memory. My guess is because we're using more senses. One other note that I want to make about studying. There is nothing, let me say again, nothing wrong with delegating and sharing out tasks for studying. Cheating occurs when you steal a test. If you look up specific tests online that you know the teacher is going to give, or you use other people's work during a test. But studying together before a test is just good collaboration. And the good news is that students have a variety of networking tools for sharing information like Google Docs, Facebook, or Slack. So what about when you take the test? Okay, big principle on taking tests, PO. What is this? PO stands for process of elimination. I need you to get away from the idea that you are looking for the right answer. I know it sounds strange. Isn't the point to find the right answer? True but you are not really finding the right or perfect answer, you're finding the best possible answer for that question. This means that you're going to face good answers that are slightly incorrect, not relevant to the question, or not as good as the right answer. So, approach questions more like a game of strategy. You are trying to eliminate answers to get to the best possible answer. Here are the steps to doing this. First, this is what a typical question looks like on an AP test. There's a primary or secondary source, then you have a question. The question has four answers. Three are what are called distractors, and one is right. Distractor means that they are written in a way to look correct or distract you. So we need to eliminate and narrow down. First, go to the question and scan it to see what you're looking for. Second, go to the source and note who wrote the document and the time period. The point is not to just repeat what you see. Take some educated guesses about the author and date. For example, this particular source was written by Bartolomeo de las Casas in about 1542. During that time period, we can remember that he came from Spain. This was a period of colonization, and he is a Spanish monk. So knowing those things, it's going to help us to do a little bit of interpretation on his point of view. Third, try to list out a few things you know about the context. We know during this time that the context was new colonies. Spain establishing encomiendas for silver, and the establishment of a new Spain in Mesoamerica. Fourth, scan through the reading to get a gist of what the author is saying. So when we scan through this particular reading from De Las Casas, what we get is a general sense is that De Las Casas is describing the horrendous working conditions that were faced by most of the native labor that had to go into the silver mines. Fifth, now we can go to the answers and eliminate at least two that don't fit with the question. 
For example, we can easily get rid of A. There's nothing in this reading that talks about the natives resisting the Spanish. We also can easily get rid of D. There's nothing in the reading talking about the problem of diseases. That leaves us with B and C. Sixth and finally, we can choose between the last two answers based upon our memorized historical information. So now we're down to B and C. It is true that the Spanish tried to proselytize the natives, but there's nothing in the reading about this, and from our historical knowledge, De Las Casas criticized the Spanish maltreatment of the natives. That leaves us with C, the Spanish use of violence and war against the natives. That really fits with the reading, and it fits with the historical context. It's our best possible answer. Okay, so what are the takeaways from this process? Remember, testing is not about memorization. It's about interpretation and analysis. Remember that we are not so much looking for the right answer as the best possible answer. So we need to do PO, a process of elimination. Finally, use as many senses as possible for studying and on tests. This means speaking out loud while you're studying, writing while you're taking a test. Education.